Welcome to TOL Season 8, Round 2 of the preseason. And folks, we got a good one for you. The Attorney of All-Stars. I'm very glad that they are still back because that one-hit wonders team kind of sucked. But we got one of the perennial studs of TOL in the Attorney of All-Stars. And they're going against... The Pretty Rickies, arguably the best owner to never win a championship. The Dan Marino of TOL. And Rick Ross gets the handoff and picks up a solid four to get going here. So, I, I, it appears that, uh, oh, Ricky Gervais across the middle. Um, and I think that uh, Rick and Zach Pittman, the brothers... Uh, had a bit of a falling out. I don't know exactly what happened between those two brothers, but uh, man, it's not uh, its not going great. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll check in, see if, see if there's any update on, on Zach Pittman's status, but um, we don't need an update on Rick Ross's status because his status is just badass. Um... So Pittman again to Rick Ross, and that's what I'm talking about. Rick Ross with a touchdown. I said this last year, but I would sing a Rick Ross song, but I really honestly don't know any. So, sorry, can't help you out there. Um, but that was a pretty dominating drive there by the Rickies, the Eternia All-Stars, typically known for their defense, and their, uh, their strong safety was their uh, bonus pick. And it seems that, uh, you know, that, that may not have helped them that much on that drive. I thought the strong safety, the either safety pick was a great pick to get late in the draft. So I thought that uh, Mike made the right pick. But, um, you know, and look, it's one drive. The Rickies, however, got the, uh, the O-line boost, which I thought was, like, the, maybe the best one. And that offense certainly looked like it. Like it seemed like the offensive line was taking control there. So, um, interesting. Trapjaw um, had a MVP season a few years ago. Um, was trying to get open there. And they are forced to punt. So, uh, good start for the Rickies so far. So, it's... Uh, yeah, so it's a big, big, big Ricky start. And there's another Ricky wide open here. Which one is this? This is uh, Rick James. Oh, Rick James is wide open. So um, now we are... Uh... All right, so it's third and five. Here's a big play here. And uh, Pittman's going to run for it. Ooh, he's... Excessive zigzagging, but it worked out for him. He's able to pick up the first down. And now uh, there's the handoff to Rick Ross. Ooh, catches the sideline. And that's a first down. First down. And now Pittman to Rick James again. I'm Rick James. Oh, I, I can't. I can't say it. If he doesn't... Um, if he doesn't catch it, I can't. I can't do the quote. Oh, but they are going for it. Interesting. I oh, want it's an interception. I missed the name. Unfortunately, I wonder if that is that that highly paid safety. Um, Skeletor drops back. Trapjaw again. This time the connection is there. Trapjaw is going places. Oh, last dive. Saves the touchdown there. Oof, man, and after the rough start for the All-Stars, they gave up the big touchdown early, and their defense um, didn't look great, and their offense didn't look great on the first drive. What a turnaround. They put their foot down and just taken over. And 
so now the kickoff here to Ricky Gervais, who apparently has got multiple duties this season. Oh, and one of them could be scoring touchdowns? Let's see here. they got two guys that will reach him, but they both missed the dive. Now it's going to be close with this last person. Another missed dive, Ricky Gervais. Touchdown. What a fucking return. And so now it is a 14-7 game. This is a great game. This is a lot of fun. And now the kickoff return by Orko. Orko had the big game in the first week, but not done much so far. Throws across the field. That tends to be dangerous. That's one of those ones where the linebackers sometimes just, you don't even see them and they just jump up out of nowhere and pick one off. Boom! Living la vida loca. Trap jaw again. I can't open a gap. Man, does, Mike does not make a team where trap jaw is not a factor. And the, with the clock running, they really want to catch him here. Oh, man, he's got some hit power, too. I guess everybody's got some hit power um, on the outside here. Now I got freaking Bobby texting me saying, oh, don't worry about the commentary. It's fine. I'm just going to upload anyway. When he gave me a, a time to get it done by, and I was going to have it to... Uh, have it to him by then. And he's like, oh, do you, you don't even have to do it anymore. Meanwhile, I'm literally doing it. Ass, ass clown. Ricky Gervais. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was going to be another big, big moment for Ricky Gervais. One second left. It's interesting where they can try. Probably handoff. It seems like the computer always does like the worst play with one second. Oh, oh, oh the picked up fumble. Rick Harrison. Not quite sure who that is. Um... But, uh, well, quite a game. I mean, we got what we wanted for. So I'm just texting Bobby back. All right, so uh, Orko now with the return. Brings up to the 18. Yeah, not seeing much... Uh, I don't see much from Orko. Here's the uh, delayed handoff to that same man, Orko, or the same little creepy uh, wizard guy. And throws it right into coverage. Skeletor rolls out, and it looks like he's got lots of open options here, but just goes back to his favorite target. What a move. I mean, that safety had him dead to rights. And Orko just like, zip, zip. Boom, another broken tackle. Man, is Trapjaw even better than he was when he, did he win the, I think he did win the MVP that year. Oof, what a turnaround here. EAS is just... I mean, really, their defense has been... They had, they gave up that first drive, and then they gave up the, the kick return. So the so this is a very important, interesting drive for the Rickies because they uh, have not put together a consistent drive in a while now. And so Gervais gives them pretty good field position, but, yeah, not perfect. And uh, Pittman, ooh. oh, nice catch by Ross again. And now it's second and four. It's a short four, but it really looks like four. And uh, Rick Ross has been their, their offensive highlight outside, I guess, the special teams of Gervais. But, ooh, just barely gets off. This looks like he's throwing it out of bounds. No, in the coverage. In 
incomplete pass, third and ten. This could be the play of the game right here. Oh, and they, and they bite on the play action, but nobody looks open. Oh, forces it into your face. Whew, he must be well paid. He's got to have good hands to make a catch like that, but he's obviously got good max speed too by uh, that kick return. Oh, it looks like uh, James is open again. Can he actually get it to him? He's have been having trouble making this connection today. Not this time. I'm Rick James, bitch. Unity. And uh, I think I'm bleeding inside my chest. Twenty-one, twenty-one. You see, these are the kind of games we always look for. Regular season, preseason, just two legends of TOL, just back and forth. One team has a lot of momentum, and the other team just takes it right back. Just when I said the Rickies really need to put together a good drive, that's exactly what they did. A couple first downs, running here and there, and then the, the big strike to James to finish it off. And uh, pick up a four. That, uh, that was interesting. Anyway, second and six. The blitz is on. Boom! Ricky Raccoon. Gets it. Now it's uh, dropping back. He's got the check down to He-Man. It's funny. I remember when I first started, it seemed like this offense was built around He-Man. And now it's uh, he's almost like he's like a side part. He's like no longer the focal point. Oh, he hasn't been the focal point of the offense in a while. Bam! Living la vida loca. Second and 19. Somebody got to him, it looks like. Oh, the ball comes out. Ooh, Rick Springfield. Wow, that was a big play. The ball is out. Let's see, he's got Rick James open again. Look, maybe waited too long. Got it. I'm Rick James, bitch. What did the five fingers say to the face? Slap. Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> Fuck y'all couch. Fuck y'all couch. I'm not going to finish that line for those who know the show. All right, so it's a six-point lead, and we'll see if that one-point difference may... Oh, see, I was saying Orca wasn't quite put up the same game he'd put up recently but or in the first round, but, oh, man, it takes four people to bring him down. Oof. Skeletor. He's got somebody to check down across the middle, but throws into coverage. Oof. That could have been a costly mistake. Could have been costly. Skeletor's going to run it. One man to beat. Oh, clobbered. Man, this is good shit here. Third and two. The dive to He-Man. Gets it. Touchdown. All-Stars and... Not much time left on the clock either. This extra point is obviously humongous. Can they get it? And it looks good. Whew. All right, so they only need a point. So Gervais has been great for them today. So can Gervais, you know, have another one of these big returns and then put him in a position to possibly get a game-winning field goal? He gets the sideline. All right, not Great, but it's certainly good. Um, you know, one of those long Rick James passes will get it done. Oh, they call the play. Boom. Prince Adam working both sides of the field. Offense and defense. Puts him in a second and 19. Backs up against the wall here. Now they really need something big. But it looks like Rick James. Oh, no. Prince Adam back-to-back -back plays. Rick James had just gotten past the coverage. Still enough time. I don't know if there's enough time to, to get into field goal range and uh, and kick a field goal. So they might just have to try and score here. Incomplete pass. Now they're definitely going to have to score. But as we've seen, they do have the big play potential. We're all watching Rick James up top. Will they cover him? There is somebody in the vicinity, at least. I still think you got to throw it or just take the sack. Prince Adam closes the deal. One-point victory. Prince Adam steps up in the clutch.
and uh, not a big rushing game for either team. Not a big offensive game overall for either team, but a fun, great game nonetheless. So Mike moves on. Ricky, uh, Rick Pittman moves into the loser's bracket, uh, but still uh, you know, going to be a dangerous threat to walk out of that one. So thanks for watching.